Rosina was the reigning empress, there's no question about it. She was the one. If you were Levine's student, there was a little cachet about you. And she was her class that was dominating the school. What was very clear from the Levine classes was that there was a an ideal of piano playing. I have been in touch with her and her great husband too for years and years and years and years. Well, it's a very emotional thing. Poor Levine died rather too young and he left Rosina. On so the beginning, there is the great widow of a great pianist, but after one or two, three years, they discovered that she was not at all a widow of the great pianist, but that she was a great pianist in her own right. After his death, it took her some time to begin to feel her own oats, you know, and when she saw that what she did with her pupils was really remarkable, then she began to become, again, a much more assured person. I think Mrs. Levine personally stood for the, the, the kind of piano teaching that was at the top of the, of the world. She had a host of admirers. She had uh, loving, adoring students. And uh, she would give these master classes and, and throngs would come. Certainly, it's quite good. But, um, you know, Rachmaninoff was schoolmate of Miss Levine. And so I have it in my ears, you know, all these prayers the way he plays. And certainly it is uh, a little uh, hard to be quite satisfied the way <laughs> last time. <laughs> and the G major, I like... Um, more singing tone. And again, when you start, it is not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four, four, three, one. You see, the first one, stay a little longer around. Then when you repeat the second time, you don't have to, to do that because you established already your key. There was a spirit in there conveyed through her leaning over, her putting her hand on my hand, her pressing one finger into the next of mine, saying, no, oh, legato, dear, sing, dear, sing. Listen to the inner voice. It all comes from something as simple as a breath as she breathed it and sang it. And of course, the more she sang and the more she mentioned this and you put all of her remarks together, uh, suddenly you found, hmm, my piano's starting to sing a little bit. What remains throughout and throughout all music because of her is finally it must be simple. developed in us and that we pass on to the next generation, especially that we, we coach and teach our own next generation so that it, it follows in this uh, artistic continuum. That's really the, the most important thing.